wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Like, Damn I, like I wonder we're, Aaron didn't we're want going. To do this. <laughs> But that is actually I know I'm recording, but damn. Damn. Give me a minute. All right, all right. Welcome back to another fantastic trailing off. I am Chad. I'm Asher. And today we are talking about the trailer for Destroyer. Destroyer. Yes. But what is destroyed? Well, I know my mind is. Yes, after, after that watching trailer. this trailer. By the way, I just want to throw Aaron under the bus right now and say he insisted that two people <laughs> who absolutely knew nothing about this movie yeah. do this trailing off. And wow, I yeah, hmm. I think he did that on purpose. I feel like he feels bad because the he kind of like was like attacked by that trailer, <laughs> and he wants to share the dread. Because there is life now before that trailer and life after that trailer. It's pretty intense. It's a it's a it's a new day. So this is uh you know who stars in this movie? This is Nicole Kidman. Oh, they they tell you that several times in this trailer. Yeah. So I have a problem with this, but it can work. It will work market wise, but it it I think it convinces the viewer about what you're going to get. They do this thing where a good chunk of it is quotes from uh, critics. Uh, praising Nicole Kidman's performance for this movie. Yes. They probably saw it at like film festivals ahead of time, got a screener, so they able to have this going into it. And I'm like, do I need the movie to literally tell me how good this actor is? Yeah. That, but <laughs> if we remove those parts and just look at the trailer, I would agree with what they said, yeah, at least is, from the trailer. This is next level Nicole Kidman. First of all, when they first say it, the, uh, you see you're walking on a hill with a child in the snow. She's kind of mumbling things about wanting to do something good, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. like cutting back and forth in time. Yeah, there are several different, it seems, times that this movie is yeah. taking place. And and so, like, Nicole Kim is talking to a younger woman who we're going to assume is her daughter. Mm-hmm. And she ha- she's had, like, facial reconstructive surgery a little bit to not look like herself. Yeah. And you, so you're, you're, you're getting that the this flashback is of them when she was a struggling mother trying to make it. And then you see her, I think she's uh, some sort of law enforcement. She tries to infiltrate this gang. She gets caught up in a bank robbery, and then 20 years later, she's still doing it with this gang. Is this? And I'm guessing what they're going to do is get into this thing of, did she really turn, or is this like deep, deep, deep cover? Yeah, it could, it, it, it I could be. I don't know. It could be. It seems to be there's a lot of... In th- this movie seems to have like it's gonna have a lot of intense conversations. There's gonna yeah. be a lot of intense yeah. conversations given by people because it seems like she's like involved with someone in the gang, but he might also be undercover. I can't. Did you get that? Yeah, I kind of like, but I couldn't tell because there was. I some think line. that's the point. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You just see things start to go bad, and then she owns how bad things have gotten. And then it cuts back and forth between Bradley Whitford, who always plays a jerk in movies. He's really good at playing a jerk. And he's like the guy in the law enforcement office. It's just like, well, you know, she turned. It's that simple. Yeah. There's you also know. a quick shot of her throwing. I'm not sure if it was her daughter or another f- uh, younger female character, someone who's ODing into the trunk of a car. Yeah. The yeah. person. Oh, it's so messed up. It's yeah. like it's like super hyper violent situation. This person is. Being thrown in the back of the car, she is laughing, laughing, and she has blood all over her face. Yeah, she's clearly from like, like a tooth being knocked out. Or yeah, punched and, in the and nose. she looks like she's strung out and on she something. She is just maniacally laughing. Mm-hmm. And it, and it, it's Nicole Kidman's character. I think is shoving her in the trunk. Yeah. yeah, shoving her in the trunk. Just another day at the office for new Nicole Kidman. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of. It seems like it's going to be a pretty pretty brutal movie. Yeah, it reminds me, and it's probably because we just released the episode for Black Mass. We released mm-hmm. the Black Mass cast. I was thinking the same thing. This this is like Black Mass. This is Nicole Kidman's Black Mass. Yeah, and it's it's so it's just gonna be that thing of like return to form. Now, I've always liked Nicole Kidman. She's good. Mm-hmm. I like her in movies. Um, so the juxtaposition of Johnny Depp movies that most people don't really like versus Black Mass, which is like return to form for him. There's less of a creatively att- attempted gap. Mm-hmm. It's like a spectrum. The spectrum is smaller with Nicole Kidman, so I think like like the stuff like I've like she's been doing these new TV shows on HBO and these different types of movies. She has been really stepping up her game. Yeah, I can't. So this isn't much of a shock, but I'm still just as excited. Oh yeah, this is and this is definitely seems like something I've never seen her do before because she's playing 
a very conflicted character who is going who seems to struggle through a lot of things and in several different times too she's playing like a you said yeah an older version who looks very different and they show her younger she looks more like Nicole Kidman, Nicole Kidman. and yeah. in the older version something has happened she's had i think she's had a constructive surgery because she went underground yeah wow. i just thought it was like cuz she also looks like skinnier and pale and mm-hmm. like Spots on her face. Yeah, I just thought she was like, "Oh, it's a movie about Nicole Kidman being like a drug addict or something." Yeah, that's what it kind of seemed like. But, but now I don't know. I could be right and I could be wrong. And this movie looks so intense. I could be right and wrong at the same time. <laughs> I don't know yet. Mind destroyed. Mind destroyed. <laughs> um, it's weird. It looks like um, like Alejandro Inarritu like directed this thing with all these slow motion shots in the snow. What did he do? Uh, he did Birdman. Oh yeah, and well, The that's Revenant. So good. Which is didn't where see Revenant, but Birdman is awesome. Revenant's a lot of slow motion shots in the snow. Yeah, I yeah. figured it's just Birdman in the snow. That's what. <laughs> 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 yeah, Birdman in the snow. The it's a sequel. You know how like M Night Shyamalan makes two completely different movies, and the third movie's like, oh, they're all sequels. Like That's he's doing that now. Here. That's what's happening with it, Aritu. He's gonna do Birdman in the snow. He's like, you didn't know they were related, did you? <laughs> Did nope. you? No, we did not. Okay, I'm going to look up this uh, director real fast. I don't know. It's an interesting name for a movie, too, Destroyer. Because it's, yeah. it's obviously implying that Nicole Kidman is kind of the destroyer. I don't know. I don't Actually, I don't know. The movie does not explain itself very explicitly what's going on. You just get there's a lot of crime stuff going on. There's a lot of people running, a lot of people getting... There's actually not a lot of shooting until the end of the trailer. Yeah. And then there's a lot of shooting. There's also a really good shot of Nicole Kidman just taking some people out with just like a semi. And who were they? Were they sim- bad guys? Were they, they bank robbers? Guys? Were they good guys? Is, is this the Avengers? Are she yeah. taking out the Avengers? <laughs> I mean, I know she can take out the Avengers, but I want to see her try. Hey, this is like like I said, looks like a looks like a wild ride. I can't wait to see what else is uh what else is gonna come out come out of this. So so, so the director on this one is uh Karen Kasuma. She's directed movies such as uh you can tell I'm totally looking at IMDb right now. Mm-hmm. Eon Flux and The Invitation. And so it looks like a lot of stylized a- like action. action movies. Yeah. yeah. So it this looks like a more dramatic turn, but I imagine it could be something like a kind of like how um in Sicario it's the violence is hyper violent because of how everything else is so brutal and raw. Oh. And I mean the dramatic scenes, the character scenes that they build upon. Like like that movie did that a lot of a lot of uh, modern directors are starting to do that. Like they, they've, I guess, grown up with like hyper stylized uh, action scenes of the seventies and eighties, mm-hmm. but they want to do serious drama. So it used to be like separate between drama directors and action directors, and now we get a little bit of both. And I can, I'm gonna make a prediction. Prediction. I'm gonna make a prediction. This Pre- movie's probably gonna do that. It's gonna be really intense, and we're gonna talk about the scenes of characters. But like when they get to action, we're gonna be like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what was that?" <laughs> it does, and it does look, even though it's it's going after uh, being a drama, it does look like it's gonna have a lot of scenes in the movie that you're like, "Oh, that could be a painting, or that could be a portrait." You yeah. know, there's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's a lot of scenes of people just walking places and stuff. Well, there's a lot of fast paced action happening in the trailer too, but I think it's gonna go for a very kind of sweeping visual style even though it's kind of a it looks like a dark and brooding story which you'd usually think would be told in a city where you'd basically see the same three places over and over again just be kind of dark and gloomy this might be more like visual spectacle i don't know i have to agree that was some that was pretty on point man ah finally some affirmation (laughs) well you're allowed one a year oh okay and that was your one. <laughs> we are going to go see Destroyer. We're yeah. Probably, I'm going to go see it. I'm going to go see it when it comes out. Yeah, if it's crazy enough, we might do an autopsy on it. I think so. We've been doing more autopsies of stuff we just went Recently and saw. Seen. And we're like, we kind of have to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of happening now. So. Yeah. It's much more of uh, just kind of sporadic. Yeah. So now we just got to see if Destroyer be, is worthy of the. Is it going to destroy? Or I can't think of anything. No, that's no horrible. we're not going to do the money thing <laughs> again. But wa- watch this trailer. Tell us what you think. Yeah. Please let us on. know about it. Um, let other people know. I didn't really hear about it. And it's not super new. It's It's been out about a few weeks. And usually I don't want to do a, a trailer for a movie that's been out for a week or two. But I haven't but heard anything about exactly. this. Exactly. So I feel like more people should know about this because it looks like it's going to be fantastic. But what do you think? We're going to check it out. Are you going to check us out? Let us know. But for Trailing Off, presented by Movie Night Autopsy, I'm Chad. I'm Asher. Thank you so much for listening.
What's up, crew? If you got any idea of what you would like for us to talk about on the minute or on Movie Night Autopsy podcast, hit us up on the social medias. You can hit us up on Twitter at movie underscore autopsy. Check us out on Facebook at Movie Night Autopsy. Always feel free to email us contact at movienightautopsy.com.